Swifties, brace yourselves. Taylor Swift has just dropped the news of her latest album, The Tortured Poets Department. Yes, you heard it right. The queen of lyrical storytelling is back with a new chapter, and it promises to be as soul-stirring and melodious as ever. The title alone, The Tortured Poets Department, has us all intrigued, doesn't it? It's classic Taylor, weaving a narrative that leaves us hanging on every word. The announcement of this album has sent ripples of excitement across the globe. Fans are eagerly dissecting every word, every hint dropped by Swift, in an attempt to unravel the secrets she has woven into this new musical tapestry. The anticipation is palpable, and the excitement, contagious. Social media is buzzing with theories and predictions, as Swifties try to decode the mystery that is the tortured poets department. The official release date is another reason for the growing excitement. Swift has chosen to drop this album at a time when fans are more than ready for a new infusion of her poetic genius. The official word is out. The Tortured Poets Department will be available on all major streaming platforms, tonight at midnight. Yes, the wait is almost over. This announcement has not just sparked anticipation but also admiration for Swift's masterful handling of suspense and intrigue. She has always been a master at making each album release an event to remember, and this one seems to be no exception. With her clever hints and cryptic messages, she has once again managed to captivate the attention of fans and critics alike. As we brace ourselves for another roller coaster ride of emotions, one thing is for sure the tortured poets department is going to be a musical journey worth embarking on. It's a testament to Swift's incredible talent and her knack for connecting with her audience on a deeply personal level. So grab your headphones, curl up in your favorite spot and prepare for an unforgettable musical experience. With the release date set for tonight at midnight, the countdown for the Tortured Poets Department has officially begun. Swift's new album isn't just another collection of songs, it's a carefully curated narrative with several special features. The album, titled The Tortured Poets Department, is an intricate work of art with 16 songs and a unique bonus track system. Swift has created four variations of the album, each available on vinyl and each featuring a different bonus track. These tracks are titled The Manuscript, The Bolter, The Albatross, and The Black Dog. But the surprises don't stop there. The album features two special performances starting with Post Malone lending his voice to the first song, Fortnite. The eighth track, Florida, boasts the vocal prowess of Florence plus the machine. These collaborations add a unique touch to the album, making it a must-hear compilation. Swift's writing prowess shines through in the Tortured Poets Department. She has claimed sole writing credits for two of the songs on the album, demonstrating her talent and dedication to her craft. But collaboration is a key part of her process too. Two of her featured collaborators, Post Malone and Florence Welch, have lent their writing skills to their respective songs. Swift has also shared writing credits with her longtime collaborator, producer Jack Antonoff, and more recent producer, Aaron Dessner on the other tracks. These collaborations and unique features paint a picture of a diverse and layered album. Swift's newest creation is not just an album. It's a narrative journey that she has carefully curated for her listeners. Each song, each collaboration, and each bonus track adds a new layer to the story, making the tortured poets department a unique experience. The album is a testament to Swift's talent and creativity. From the unique concept of four variations to the impressive list of collaborators, the Tortured Poets Department is a testament to Swift's ability to reinvent herself and continue to push the boundaries of her music. With such a diverse range of songs, collaborators, and variations, the Tortured Poets Department promises to be a unique musical journey. Swift's promotion strategy for the new album is as innovative as it is interactive. Let's dive into the details. First off, Swift took to Apple Music to release five thematic playlists. These weren't just any playlists, though. They were carefully curated to represent the five stages of heartbreak, each named after a tagline or song from the Tortured Poets Department. This was a clever way to revisit her older songs in a new light while introducing fans to the emotional journey of the upcoming album. But she didn't stop there. Swift added an element of mystery to the mix. Starting from a Saturday, Apple Music began capitalizing certain letters in one song every day. These letters, selected from the previously released playlists, formed intriguing codewords such as we, hereby, conduct, and post. 
Fans were quick to pick up on this, decoding the messages and speculating on their meanings. And then, there was the Instagram announcement. Swift shared a video captioned the TTPD timetable, revealing that a music video would be released on a Friday at 8 p.m. EDT. This announcement not only kept her followers on their toes, but also added another layer to the anticipation. With these intriguing promotions, Swift has cleverly built up the hype for the tortured poets department. Swift's innovative methods of promotion truly demonstrate her knack for engaging with her fans while keeping them guessing until the very end. In an exciting pre-release event, Swift has partnered with Spotify for a unique pop-up library exhibit. Set in the heart of Los Angeles at The Grove, this temporary library invites fans to step into the world of the tortured poets department. But it's not just a walkthrough. Fans are encouraged to interact with the exhibit and unravel hidden clues about the album and its songs. It's a fun and immersive way to build anticipation and keep fans engaged. But the excitement doesn't stop in Los Angeles. QR codes have been popping up in cities around the globe, from London to Melbourne, Nashville to Chicago. When scanned, these codes lead to YouTube Shorts videos, each featuring a typewriter striking a single letter. These letters are believed to form a 13-letter word or phrase, adding another layer to the album mystery. This interactive promotion is yet another example of Swift's creative genius. While Swift hasn't officially confirmed, fans are speculating that The Tortured Poets Department is a breakup album. Clues like the heart-wrenching song titles, My Boy Only Breaks His Favorite Toys, But Daddy I Love Him, and I Can Do It With a Broken Heart, coupled with Swift's recent breakup with actor Joe Alwyn, have fueled these theories. Whether it's a breakup album or not, the Tortured Poets Department is bound to be another memorable addition to Swift's discography.